Um, and, and the last one. The last one is a game by Rena Knizia, uh, which is the new one released at Gen Con uh, San Francisco. Mm. And we did get to play this um, a few times at Gen Con, but we've also played it um, quite a lot since. And this game is um, a, basically a card drafting game where you are drafting from a central market of cards. Um, and these cards represent um, different bars boroughs or areas in San Francisco that you are trying to build up on your player board. Mm. And so I believe there's five different colors of card and you are going to be building them from left to right to try to develop out that area of the city. Mm. Now, why it's interesting is because within each of these city areas, you are going to be playing a, a many little area majority game because each of the cards have people represented on them and you're going to try and have the most amount of people mm, um, in on that, that line on that row or on that part of the town mm. um, in order to uh, get the most victory points at the end yeah. of the game it's one of those games where it's it's quite it's quite low scoring so it's like you're doing a lot of work throughout mm. but then at the very end of the game it's like you only get, like, yeah, if you manage to win that row, you might get two points. Mm. And so, and sometimes if you're playing at a higher player count and you lose, like you had the, the fewest, you might get negative victory points. So it's not uncommon for people to end Extremely up with just like three low. points as your yeah. final score and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And there's a, there's a few more complications as oh, of course, of course yes. there are in the yes. puzzle. So one thing is what's quite interesting about the drafting mechanic. So there are three different piles of cards that you can draft from. And on your turn, your only options are to take one of those pile of cards or to add another card into one of those piles of cards. But what's interesting is you can own, every time you take a pile, you're going to be attracting a contract, which is this Kind of little, little cardboard token. Yeah, little tile. Yeah, cardboard yep. tile. So if I take one, you know, I'm going to get one contract. So if I take another one, then I'm going to have two contracts. And what's interesting is you can only draft a pile of cards that has more, more cards than your number of contracts. So as you start to draft more and more cards, it's a bit like... Um, putting a stop or a bit of a catch-up mechanic mm. to allow other people to draft cards before you're going to be able to draft them because yeah. you get to a point where you have two contracts and now I can only draft from a pile that has three cards or more but everybody keeps taking them at one or two cards which means mm. they're not building up which means I'm just constantly being forced to add to the piles rather than draft them. Mm -hmm. So that is just a really interesting little twist mm -hmm. on, on the way that cards are drafted. Um, and the way that you clear out your contracts is once everybody has one contract, everybody removes one contract. Mm. So you can still end up with too many contracts on your hands, but you are going to be able to start yeah. to remove them. The other element of this game is that throughout the five areas of your board, you can also build tram tracks or cable car mm -hmm. tracks, if you will. Yeah. We're from Melbourne, we have trams. We have trams. Um, yeah. But San Francisco, there are cable cars. And um, these trolley systems are going to be represented on the board by connecting tracks together. Mm. And there's also going to be um, a point scored at the end of the game for the person who has the most trolleys yeah. or cable Majority cars. Majority of the cable cars, yeah. yeah. On their board. Mm. There are other ways to score points yeah, as there's well. A, there's the element of the, a, a race. So if you're the first to complete one of those lines, then you also get a little point. That's right. If yeah. you finish the, the row. Um, the other thing is that as you go along, if you get these, there's these little symbols on the card. As soon as you've got two of them in one like a row. compass, like an architect's compass. Yep, yeah. You get to, uh, you get a bonus, like mm. this cool bonus that's going to give you a one-off effect to add something mm. to your city. Um, the other element which we haven't talked about is the really cool feat of cardboard engineering, it which really is, is the little buildings. Yeah, skyscrapers. The, yeah, yeah, the skyscrapers that you're going to be able to build up 
onto your board um, when you've got the right type of card that has a foundation on it for your mm-hmm. building and then enough of those people or workers mm. that are shown on the card surrounding yeah. to be able to build this skyscraper. Mm. And it just, that adds a really lovely physical element yeah. to the game. Which after all that work, because it's quite tricky to like, <laughs> to like figure yeah. out, okay, and because you need to have, you know, you need to have cards usually to the left top, bottom and right to get enough workers or enough people around. And then after all that, you're like, yes, I got it. I got and the it's building. One point, one victory point. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. One victory point each. Um, yep. and the, um, what was I going to say? The other, oh, I've totally forgotten what I was going to say. No, what I like about the buildings is that the way that they, they punched as one piece mm. and it folds into itself yeah. and then you clip on the surrounding trees, which yeah. holds it together. Just, I, I really enjoyed punching. That was, yeah, that was very <laughs> like, clever. That really was a cool. very clever piece of cardboard engineering. Cardboard engineering. I completely yeah. agree with yeah. that. Assessment. Um, yeah. Now, in terms of uh, the game itself, mm. um, from my perspective, a little bit low tension for for myself. Yeah. Um, so it is a game that as you're playing it, it feels fairly relaxed. Yeah. It's fairly um, like you're drafting some cards or you're placing a card. Like there's not much in the decision space in terms of what you're doing. It you know, you can only draft what's available to you mm. and then you kind of have to work with the cards that you're given, so to speak. Yeah. Um, and there, there's a little bit of strategy in in where you place things on your board. Mm. And it's, you know, I, I think I've won every game that I've played of this and yet I still, I don't get the sense of feeling super satisfied well, yeah, at the I, end I, of it. Yeah, you're right. It's very relaxed. So it's not a high tension kind of game, which... Some people really enjoy because it, it mm. means that it's like, you know, people that don't really like very stressful type uh, game situations. You just kind of, you know, you're kind of sussing out which, you know, which of these columns are, uh, to, to take and go, oh, yeah, well, I'll take this one. And then you put them on your board and then you've got your little try. So it's more of a, a very relaxed, it almost felt uh, vibe wise, not mechanics wise, but kind of the, the, the sense that I got was, was kind of very similar to when I was playing Santa Monica. Yeah, Santa Monica. And it's sort of, it's yeah. that level of, yes. of tension and, uh, and, and puzzle. It's like, there's a puzzle there, but it's not like, oh, what am I going to do? And like, it's, this is excruciating. Mm. So, but it, you know, but you do have those, I feel like it kind of grows on you. It definitely grew on me in terms of going, okay, well, maybe this game I'm going to try and uh, not focus so much on trying to get those skyscrapers because they were, you know, they were a lot of effort and you waste a lot of time and they only give you one point. So maybe I'll try and just get those majorities or try and race to the end and try and get those, you know, bonus one points. So I, I, I enjoyed it, but yeah, it, is a, it was a lighter affair. Yeah, and then you say race to the end, but it f- doesn't feel it does, yeah. racy. <laughs> yeah. It feels like a slow plod towards the end it feels and like a stroll to the end it feels you know, like a stroll like a, and the game yeah. is surprisingly long i would say for the level of puzzle depth like mm. it, it does go on a little bit for for my taste yeah, um yeah. the elements that i do like i i do enjoy the bonuses that you can get along the way and thinking about how that impacts on mm. your what you're building on your city um, I also really like the fact that even though it's a low scoring game, there are 0.5 points that you can get. You can get half oh, yeah. points. Yeah, one and a half points or two and a yeah, half points. Yeah, and I'll often think, yeah. that makes the difference it has, between yeah. winning it's like, and losing. Oh, it's just like what? you beat me by half, <laughs> half a point. point. Yeah. Um, so I really like that element. I think it's yeah. pretty fun. But I think also because it's such a low scoring game, I don't feel like I don't get as much satisfaction out of like, what I've achieved mm. because it is such such a few amount of points. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. I it's don't... like squeezing a lot of oranges and getting three drops of juice. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <You're like>, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I do think it is like quite a pretty game. I really like the theme. I love that. Yeah, it's I love set the in theme. San Francisco. Yeah. And if you are looking for more of that relaxed style game, it probably won't stay in our collection. I finally, I'm just going to interject. I finally put the little sticker. So oh, we yeah. found one of the tables at Gen Con had these like promo stickers, promo stickers to put on the little cable cars. And I managed to finally do it. So I'm very, I'm very proud of myself. And I haven't looked at them because if I do, I'll never be able to unsee what Maggie did <laughs> without tweezers. I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah. There was, I did have one piece. You know, sometimes the, the wooden pieces, 
um, have a bit of a, like a pieces kind of missing. Oh, yeah. So I do have one where the, the stickers kind of come and join <laughs> in the middle of this. This is why I will never look at them. Anyway, I don't think this game will stay in our collection. We have plenty of mm. milder style, easy breezy games. Um, and this one doesn't offer enough uniqueness mm. in my mind to keep it. I, I'm glad we checked it out though, because I really enjoyed that unique drafting mechanic. Yeah. So if that, this sounds like something that interests you, um, check it out. That is San Francisco. 